Hello everyone, it's Jada with the Craft Hog. I am just coming on to show you some things that I've been working on. And um, to anyone out there who may be, um, I don't know, I guess a lot of times artists, crafters, designers, you know, they're not sure if their stuff is really good enough. But you know, with time and practice, I do feel like we all are good enough. So I just wanna um, give a shout out to anyone out there who does try these things and, you know, don't give up. Uh, it's, it's just fun and I just feel like it's rewarding. It's, it's calm, it's, it helps with, you know, just being happy to be able to do something that you love to do. And in time you, you know, I've noticed I've gotten better and I'm gonna show you today um, some proof of that. But um, I wanted to show you some things that I have been working on. I'm, I, I actually, a few things that I'm kind of proud of, but uh, uh, I wanted to do that. And I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm in the kitchen standing. It's just so much easier on my back. And I have the dishwasher running. And you might hear the cat. So, anyways, before I get started, please, um, if you enjoy, hit like, subscribe. Um, comment. I do enjoy the comments I get. Shout out to Linda and Zelda for being there with me from the beginning. Hopefully we can all grow together and um, for years to come. Uh, first, I do want to mention that I did finish the uh, challenge entry for memory decks. I am going to post that probably Saturday. Um, I'm shipping it off this afternoon, actually right after this video. And so um, I had finished that, and it, it was fun. I, hadn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but I'm glad that I did. But um, another challenge that's, that I'm, I'm going to ship off today that I wanted to show you is there, uh, and I will link below, I, I'm sorry if I don't get there. Um, I don't remember all of their uh, YouTube channels, but I will link them below. But the, a Joanne is having a, um, and I just recently discovered this, so I, I whipped these up, but she's doing a challenge where she is asking that you mix four sequin bags together. She will keep one. One will go to um, the drawing for the grand prize winner, and the other two will be um, mixed in, and so anybody who entered will get two sequin packs from other people. So I thought that was fun. She's calling it the Everybody Wins Challenge. So I thought that was pretty fun. So what I did is I did um, a mix of kind of some pastels that I have. I put some beads in there. I put some things that I've hauled off. Um, pretty much all of it's from AliExpress. I, um, so I just mixed a whole bunch of different colors together. I added it to bags that I had hauled off AliExpress. And then I die cut out my recently uh, received small bag holder. I know, I think I had made fun of it. Well, maybe not made fun of it, but I thought, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but here we go. Then this showed up. So uh, perfect for these little baggies, and I think they look really cute. Then um, I thought I'd dress up too, and dress them up, and so I, I did some tassels out of some jean, um, Oh, material that I had and I had gotten that actually I think it from either Joann's or Hobby Lobby it's like a stack here I can quick grab what it looks like it is from DCWV so this is what it looks like and I didn't realize there was two different colors in it so there's the lighter jean material and then there is the darker one so pretty neat really pretty against pinks and and pastel colors and really pretty even neon so i created a tassel i added one of my um brads that i recently got from aliexpress and then i added one of my um bead dangles and then on this one same thing um but i did a, a different color i thought oh that's kind of cool and on um, Monday you'll see these little things that I just recently got fun I love them I had to separate out all the colors because they were they're fun 
So um, I did the same thing with this. One of the brads made my, with the jean material and just added the thing. And she can she can choose to keep both tassels or give them away. It's, it's fine. That's totally up to her once it's in her hands. So that will be fun. Then um, I like to make fairy gardens. This is not the one I've been talking about recently, but I did recently get a pack of these from Hobby Lobby. There was a pack of six. I got it on clearance for 75 cents. So I painted them all and um, thought, oh, you know, for my Etsy shop, this would actually be easy to ship. You know, I, otherwise I have big pots that I'm making that most likely will go more towards local people. But um, I thought, well, I can add some fairy stuff in there. And of course, I'm going to hide the styrofoam underneath. But I took apart some of those... Um, succulents that I got from AliExpress and the thing with that is as we know I am a little on the cheaper side but like this guy here he came in a he came hooked together with two other ones okay and I paid I think like less than a dollar for the you know I think I paid like 14 for the whole lot but it came down to these were like less than a dollar a piece well this came in a group of like 16 of these heads so I split it up put it here I split this guy up so I still have two more uh, this one did come separate, but that's okay. And so here, you know, an affordable fairy garden that anybody, you can put in your window, you can put it on your desk, you know, really cute. We'll make a cute gift. And I'm going to add more things and I'll show that when I'm finished, but you know, easy to ship and it won't have to be like a super high price because of shipping, because you haven't paid much for these succulents. And then all this is, is just you know obviously when you think of when I think of fairies I think okay if they're in the in the trees or under the ground there's gonna be large leaves in them so I just took leaves off of some of my florals and stuck it in there so once I get this complete um, I'll show that off so that I've been working on then as you know I had gotten a um, die for to make these cute little bags I just love them I just love it it's so cute and with all the recent leather, faux leather and fabrics I've received, I cannot wait to make these, more of these. And um, I just wanted to show you some more of the tassels I made. Really cute. Now going with this, oh my gosh, isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. Um, so I, I did I did make this one too. Uh, it's, I got the, this I got from Hobby Lobby and this, I think this is the cricket, the cricket leather material, but that stuff is a lot higher than I would more normally like to pay. So I'll be using more of what I hauled off AliExpress or my Hobby Lobby deals that I got. So, um, you know, open it up and, and I've got three bowls in there and look at all the space. Look at all that space. So I thought, well, maybe what I'll do is when, um, when I get them done, um, you know, I want to do bows with earrings and see if, you know, that becomes a little bit of a seller for dog lovers or, or mothers with little girls and babies. And I thought, you know, what would be fun is to make a matching little purse like this and then make, put the bows in there with those earrings. So that's kind of what I was thinking about for this now. Oh, another thing I've been working on is... Um, rosettes I'm still not perfect with them but I did find um, I did find a, on Pinterest um, a much easier way to do them and if you'd like to see a tutorial I definitely would do one for you just make a comment down below but I think that they turn out great and they're so much easier on my hands I used my um, some of them ain't even but you know these are like my first I think I showed you some of the first ones that I made. But um, here's some other ones that I've done. And I used that shiny. A while ago, I had gotten from AliExpress some really glittery. Well, it's not glittery. It's more, um, it's just, it's really pretty glitter paper. But it's not, you know, it doesn't come off. The, the glitter don't come off. And I like that. So I made a bunch of different ones. Um... You know, I think that they they turned out pretty cute. So I've got my bucket here of uh, different kinds of 
those rosettes. So I'm going to keep practicing and hopefully I'll get, I mean, like, look at that. That's so pretty. Some of them turn out just perfect. But the way I'm doing them, I just, it's just so much easier for me. So I'm kind of proud of them. I know I've showed you some of these before, but this is, this is a lot. I've been doing a lot of them. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, another thing I've been working on. And um, originally I got the, okay, so originally I think I got the idea from uh, Scrap Diva. She had a while ago posted an accordion style little like pocket journal book album and so I thought I would try and put them together like this with a tag and then um, you know add some cute stuff and dress it up a little bit and see what you know see if I, there's interest in that so this was my rough draft right here I think it turned out okay and so this is what I've worked on now. So I still have to finish some of these. But so like I've gotten this one and I got this color going. And so I still have to do some things with it. But I think they turned out pretty cute. So I thought, well, you know, a little girl or maybe, I mean, really you could use these for gifts, birthdays. They could, you know, they could do so much of this stuff. I, I you know, and so... I don't know, I thought these were fun. My completed one is this one. So um, what I did was made the tag obviously in the back. Uh, I just added this little boxy thing. I didn't secure the bow because I thought, well, whoever gets it, they might wanna do something different with it. I'm adding a dangle with um, a charm and it's a, bead dangle charm and then a tassel. I'm going to clip that on there and then um, here was the completed first accordion book. So, you know, front cover, they've got two pages here, uh, two pages here. I did add a little thing where they can slip something in there and then uh, the back also. So you come out, you know, you take it out or you pull it out like that and then on the back they can do the same thing where they can slip it slip something in there so I don't know I thought it was kind of cute so um, I'm working on finishing up the rest of them um, and then uh, one thing I had wanted to try was a um, Mm, like a not really well I guess a mix of mini junk journal mini album mini scrapbook uh, whatever someone wants to use it for and so you know when I originally started out trying the paper crafting I had cut pages out and I didn't know a whole lot about it so you know this was my very first book and all I did was just put together a whole bunch of things as a sample for kits of paper that I was selling where people can go ahead and just make their own thing. It's not the prettiest thing, but it was just, you know, an idea of what people can do with the papers and the ephemera and stickers and all the things that I send in the kit. I've gotten, I've gotten better, I'd say. So, so, uh, so that was, you know, that was, I think I did finish this like the end of February. So since then I've shown you um, now this one that I used out of one page and I added a little bit of a tag insert in there and what I did was you know I made it with these these baggies here's an example of a finished one and you can see all these in my Etsy shop but you know so it comes with lots and lots of goodies in there lots of lots of ephemera um, and you know things that they can do they don't even have to use it all it's just all things that would match or closely match or will look cool with this book so this book is you know just plain and I did you know allow for the pocket in there but this book is just plain for them to put together so you know I think going from this actually going from this 
you know, to this one and then now to this one, uh, I'm improving. And then I decided I would try a bigger mini album. And so here is my completed project. I went with neutral colors because I just wasn't sure if I could color coordinate that well with different kinds of textures and colors, but I am very proud of this. It did turn out very cute. I just finished the cover about 15 minutes ago. Uh, I've been working on this actually for, I would say about a month because like with me, I have ADHD, so I've got like 10 things going on at once. So I might be doing this for about an hour and then I might do something else for an hour and then I might have to organize for an hour. And so that's how it is for me. But I'm gonna flip through this because I think this is really neat. And um, my final show is gonna show you exactly, you know, how much better you can get if you just keep going at it. So, and this was actually, the way I did this was inspired by, um, I believe it was a Lyrics Crafts. I will, I, I will definitely link them down because I do feel they deserve the credit, but um, she really gave me the inspiration for how to set up this book. So this is the first page and you know, as you see, I did flower cluster and just some washi tape and just tried to dress it up. Uh, I, like I said, I was doing neutral colors, so I did some wood beads and I put pom-pom down on the bottom and then I used some of my recent braided hemp and uh, secured it to the bottom and then unbraided it to kind of make it flash out. And so this is the first page and now remember, this is, you know, still new, so if this is ugly, I'm sorry. I think it's cute, I think I'm proud of myself. So. Um, I just did a bunch of things here that people can write on and whatever and then it flips down and there's a pocket here And I had fun doing these pockets So there's a pocket here. I add tag, you know something they can write on in the back uh, Here's a tag here that could slip in there. This even opens up to put a tag in. I did some stickers um, Here I did I did a bunch of different um pockets and then you know another cute tag that you can write on the back uh, here I did a, like a you know like a photo frame and then they can still write on the back and they can do you know they can do it like that or like that did some trim up there uh, here again I, I went with some beaded type of trim to section off the different colors and a uh, pocket there and again it's just an ephemera piece that I made. They can do what they want with it and then just put that, they can put it in there. Here again, another tag. And you can flip it here or you can put it right there. Did some trim up there, some lacy type trim. Here they could write soft stuff or put a, a picture. Here again, if they want to use this, they can. If they don't want to, that's fine. They can write on it do whatever. Um, I did another picture frame and then again all of these these little things here you can put a tag in. Uh, over here just cut out one of my uh, ephemera or extra pieces with that fun, oh I just love that die. So cut that out so they can do what they want here. Um, add a tag and uh, something they can add something to this tag. I did add like white to some of the tags so that they could write on them. This one I just thought, well, I'll just give them this piece. It's a piece that can flip, you know, you can put it anywhere and you can write on the back. And same with this one. And there's actually a spot here. I had originally wanted to make a bookmark for this, but I decided just to do the tag. And then I did um, I cut all these out. I think you recall some of the um, dies that I had gotten that time. And this one, I just love that one. That was so cute. I love how I did that. Sometimes you do something and you're just like, ooh, that is so cute. So I did, I added this and I do have a tree die that I had gotten from one of the sellers. Uh, I can't remember how long ago, but I didn't buy it. It was part of that grab bag, which you can't get them anymore. Okay, and then this page, I just didn't know what to do, so I had fun with it, and I used one of my one of my actual album dies, and just thought, oh, well, we could just flip it, and then there's washi tape just right there, and I kind of went with the, the, 
kind of an older theme with the old newspaper and some of the papers I except right here except right here I did a llama I don't know why I did a llama but I thought oh well it matches all the colors and they can hide it <laughs> and then I did um, a tag with that bag dye here I got another I got lots of tags in this one but here you can do this and this and I just kind of ripped out I thought that was kind of cool how I had perfectly ripped out soda I thought well I gotta use that um, and then here, this page is a little bit more delicate. Uh, maybe not, maybe shouldn't have done it, but I just thought it was pretty, so, and I really wanted to use those dies. Um, and then this page too, again, I got, I got that flipped out. I did a stamp, and, and then we've got two tags they can do something with. I plan on adding them tassels to this too. Then you flip it again, and we've got, uh, and, you know, all kinds of places to put things. The thing I noticed with a lot of videos is the, the pockets. They're, they're just popular. You know, everybody must like pockets. Um, and then again here, and, and I did on each one of the picture frames, I left it open so they can slip a picture in there. And then the last page, um, again, I, I used my smile die. I really like that die. And all of these can be used as a pocket if they want to put some something in it. And then this one flips down. There's just decorative pieces here. And they can use this as a pocket. And I even allowed it so that they could just slip in a picture if they wanted to. I thought that was kind of neat. So that does not want to go in there because, you know, it gets caught. But a picture or something would easily slip into there. And then this is the back page. So kind of went with the older theme. I didn't dress this, the back part up so much, but I think it turned out awesome. I am proud of it. It's, you know, it's just like another milestone to me. Okay, and so with that, I just think I've gotten so much better at some of these things. And um, I'm, my niece is having her graduation party this weekend. And so I was going to make her a billfold or like a, a girl, a woman's billfold. And, you know, put a little note in there with some money. But then I watched, watched the posh paper lady and oh this woman is so sophisticated i love it i love her channel she she is down to earth she tells you how it is and those are the people you know i love honest people like that but she uh i happened to watch her video yesterday and um she had uh like a flip out card where you can pretty much use it kind of like a journal or you know whatever it's a great big card but yet you can use it as um, something fun like that and so I thought hmm maybe I should try it with my niece the only thing is is I didn't have any double-sided paper and I'm in the boonies so I don't like have anywhere around here where I can quick go and and pick something like that up so I did use cardstock. It did work. I don't know how long it will last. I hope it will last her a long time, but it turned out great. I am so happy and proud of it. Her favorite color is blue, like her auntie. So um, what I had done is, well, first I, I didn't have blue in that, but I did go ahead and make her one of those um, tassels and I added my angel charm. And the reason why I added the angel charm to her was because she has got a sister in heaven and so for our family oh i hope i got that in view but for our family um the angel represents savannah so um that is that is um why i put the angel charm or and made it for her and and i can just about hear the shock like you made this i'll be like yep everything but the paper <laughs> So I made a belly band out of some um, lacy trim I had, and then I made the bow out of um, tulle with some pom-poms. I added some shakers in there, some shaker pieces in there just to brighten it up a little bit. And I was going to put something here, but I thought, you know what, I kind of like how that looks, and it kind of brings out some of the um, 
off color, you know, the off white color. So I left it. I added some stickers to it. Today is your day. It flips open once like this and she can write things here if she likes. I added this little tag with a brad and um, a tassel that I made out of some trim from Hobby Lobby. She can write on the back if she likes. It sits right in there. Then it flips this way and it says congrats. That was where I decided to put that. Um, I put this tag in here. I did actually, or this piece in here, I did actually trim it up, but there's still plenty of room for her to write. I used the extra pieces that I had cut off to make a little pocket here. And I think it turned out, you know, that part, all of it turned out great, so smile. Okay, so then from there, she can flip it this way. And I just added some stickers and, you know, just some happy, um, things to say to her because she she's a good kid so uh, and definitely her future is bright and obviously I love her to pieces so I had to pick that one for this and to bring in some of that color I added down here um, kind of a rainbow stripe thing uh, I gave her a puffy sticker I wanted to make it fun too and not too girlish or too kiddish because um, you know she is an adult now and so I also did one of those folding things with a tag. She can write on the tag. I am sharing some of my little um, pandas with her. And so then down here, I gave her a few tags there, made a pocket. This is a chalkboard sticker thing where she can use chalkboard um, pen, you know, like gel pens or, um, I know I have some, paint markers that are chalk. She could do something like that, or she can just, she can do what she wants. And then here I made a pocket too, and I added a few photo frames, and she can write on the back, she can put pictures of her and her friends, or maybe she wants to use this for a grad party, it doesn't matter, whatever she wants to do. And then this is one of those um, sticker picture frames. So she can put that anywhere she wants. And then you flip it this way, and then I gave her my my panda, one of my panda things, and it says hands in the air like you don't care. And then um, obviously I made her a little tag thing out of the jean pocket. Sorry, I don't want to share names, but it's out of that jean pocket. So I just put my note on here and then added beautiful there and then this is also a pocket oh sorry that might not be in so maybe should have added some secret pockets <laughs> that is my um my show for today i wanted to share um these projects i had taken the day off so i thought well perfect time to finally be able to take some time out for that uh, I will have a video soon of some the rest of the stuff I had gotten last week. I had, I've, I'm already getting stuff this week that I, I well, them usually I show on, on Mondays, but I hadn't gotten all of it from last week. So uh, you all have a great weekend. Have a great day. Check out the videos or the, the people that I um, um, get my inspiration from below. They're just two of many. There's so many out there. But this was to show that, you know, you can come from this to this. And this is cute, too. You know, I mean, this is cute. But look at, look at what I can do now. Look what I can do with paper. I mean, I've always been a crafter and a decorator. But I, I've never really dabbed in paper. And I'm not really the card person. But... This, this was great. This turned out awesome. I am very pleased with it. Sorry this video got so long. I just wanted to get this all in um, so that I could focus on showing you some of the other things later. Anyways, you have a great day. Um, I might just see you yet tonight. Who knows? Um, but remember, subscribe, hit like, comment. Um, and let's grow together. It's appreciated. I know YouTube recognizes um, things like that. So... You all have a great day, and I will talk to you another day. Bye now.